guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick 10 minute foundation routine. I also did record this really fun, cool crown eye look, so look for that video next. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see my quick foundation routine, just keep watching. I'm going to go in with my NYX Pore Filler Primer. When I have a pretty severe breakout, like you can see right here, I don't know why, but I broke out really bad. So I make sure to really get the primer over the top of that because I really want to cover up that breakout. I am going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. I'm in the shade 01 Creamy Vanilla. This is a super thick formula. It is really full coverage, so... Now the one thing I don't really enjoy about this foundation is that it is really thick so I don't know how it would work, it is so thick, I don't know how it would work with a brush. I am strictly a beauty sponge kind of girl and a damp beauty sponge really helps sheer it out because it is so thick. Normally it doesn't take me this long to sheer out my foundation. That's how thick this is. But I really like it and it's a really nice full coverage foundation. I am going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 15 Fair. NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder and I'm going to set my under eyes with this. I actually sometimes like to just take the puff that is in it and I will just set. I'm not really going to bake. When I have a pretty severe breakout, which I don't know why, but I am right now, I will actually take a colored powder, which normally I don't like to use. <sighs> I wish you guys could have just seen that. Normally I don't like to use colored powders, but when I am trying really hard to conceal a nasty breakout, I'm taking my flower, this is the flower beauty, the flower beauty loose face powder, yep, and this is in the shade L01, and I will just pick it up on a small fluffy brush, this is just a wet and wild brush, and I will just really pack that powder over any breakouts that really need help hiding. <laughs> My eyes are done setting. I will just brush away that powder and then I also drag it around the rest of my face to set my whole face. Set the whole face with that, drag it down the neck a little bit. Next, I am going to take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer on just a big fluffy brush. This is actually my brush from Wish, that unicorn set that I got from Wish that I'm obsessed with. This is my favorite brush so far. I literally use it every single day. <laughs> so I'm just going to bronze the entire face. This is what I like to do when I don't have, you know, a ton of time. This just really add some depth to your face, some color, a little bit of dimension, you know, so you're just not like one flat color. So 
I always bronze my face. Even if I contour, even if I don't contour, even if I barely have any makeup on, I always bronze my face. I feel like I just look so much better with that added color. So really, I just follow where I would contour. So I go here, around, I frame the whole face, but I really concentrate it on my cheeks and on my temples. And then I will also take it and just bronze my neck a little bit. So in the summertime, if I don't want my makeup to completely melt off, I like to go in with my Maybelline Master Fix. This is a wear boosting setting spray. I will spray this multiple times throughout doing my makeup, especially after all my powder products. I feel like spraying that just really helps melt all my makeup together so that it just looks flawless. And it also helps if you are starting to look like a cake face. <laughs> I will usually spray it after all of my powder products and then when I am done with my eyes and then once again after I'm done with everything. <laughs> But this has been my current favorite drugstore setting spray, so I love it. Once I'm done bronzing up my entire face, I am going to take my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush. And I'm just going to tap that in just a little bit. I really like this blush because it's so subtle. It's such a toned down, really light, pinky shade. And I feel like it just looks so nice on the skin. One of my most favorite highlights from the drugstore is this e.l.f. baked highlighter. You do have to scrape the top layer off of it to get it to really work. But I really enjoy this highlight and I think it was like $4, which is crazy, but it's really nice. It's like a goldy... It's like a champagne-y highlight and I really enjoy that. So I'm going to spray myself one more time for good measure. Okay, so I'm going to put the rest of my face on and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I finished up the rest of my face. I did, like I said earlier, I did record this look. I thought it would be really cool to try out this crown eye look. I do have hooded eyes, so I kind of had to do it differently, but I think it definitely turned out cute. So if you want to see this video, just look out for that video. It should be up soon. I do have a pretty nasty breakout, so it was kind of hard to cover all of that. So I had to use a super thick foundation, but normally I would use a thinner foundation like Maybelline Fit Me or something like that when I do a quick face, but the cards were not on my side today so this is what i had to do this is what i came up with this is a quick face no contour bronzed look if you liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i post three videos every week if you have any suggestions for looks or products you want me to try out go ahead and leave me a comment below thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video today i'm going to show you how i do a quick i don't know what i do a quick 10 minute five Today I'm going to show you how I do a quick 10 minute face. I find that when I have a severe breakout like this, so I had to use a super, but 